Retail sales rose in January. The increase was minimal, just 0.1% after the half a percent advance in December, but still welcome in the face of the 2013 payroll tax hike and higher gas prices. Commerce Department data showed core retail sales, which exclude auto, gas, and home improvement purchases, up 0.1% for January. By the way, they rose 0.7% in December. January's preliminary consumer sentiment index from the University of Michigan showed real improvement, an increase of two and a half points to a three-month peak of 76.3. Economists polled by Bloomberg had expected a reading of about 74.8. The index averaged just 64.2 during the 07 and 09 recession. Well, gold fell a whopping $26 on Friday, slipping a full 1.6% on the day. Finishing out the week, dropping over 3.4%, closing Friday at 1609.50 on the Comex. It did recover a bit from an intraday dip under $1,600 an ounce. NYMEX crude futures eked out a 0.1% weekly gain, settling at 95.86 a barrel on Friday. So when was the last time the S&P started the year with a seven-week winning streak? Not for a while. 1967. <laughs> wow. That achievement aside, it hasn't had a winning streak this long in more than two years. The S&P gained a little over 0.1% across the five trading days to settle in at 15.20 Friday, while the Dow saw its second straight weekly re retreat, a little, uh, little less than 0.08% to 13.982, and the NASDAQ down 0.06% to 31.92, also logging a slight weekly decline. The CBO VIX ended the week. 12.46. The U.S. financial markets were closed yesterday, Monday, in honor of President's Day holiday. A new NAHB housing market index appears today, Tuesday. And tomorrow, along with, uh, what have I got here? January's producer price index arrived tomorrow, along with minutes from uh, last Monday's FOMC meeting and Census Bureau reports on January housing starts and building permits. The National Association of Realtors announces existing home sales for January on Thursday. Last month's consumer price index also appears, along with the conference board's latest index of leading indicators and new initial jobless claims figures. That's what we're looking at this week. My name is Eric Hagan. I'm Greg Petrie. We'll keep our finger on the pulse of the economy and report back to you next Monday. So please, feel free to subscribe. We'll talk with you then.